What is crypto? It comes from a Greek word meaning hidden or secret. It is cryptography money. With crypto, you are your own bank. Transactions are peer-to-peer -peer between you and the other person without a third-party intermediary. The money is decentralized, not controlled by a central authority. You can send money anywhere in the world, any day or time. Crypto does not go to sleep. Your money can travel with you anywhere across borders. All you need is to be able to remember your recovery frame. Bitcoin was born in 2009, just after the 2008 financial crash. It was inspired by Austrian economics and freedom. It had a few predecessors, such as Bitgold. Bitcoin was invented by Satoshi Nakamoto. He wanted to remain anonymous, and once Bitcoin was on the right path, he removed himself from the conversation altogether. Satoshi could be a she, a he, or could be a group of people. Read the Bitcoin white paper. Bitcoin is sound money, as there is a finite supply of 21 million coins only, unlike fiat, where governments can engage in money printing. It is subdivided into Satoshis. One Bitcoin equals 100 million Satoshis. This is difficult to do with other types of sound money, such as physical gold and physical silver. It is decentralized money. The ledger is distributed across millions of nodes around the world. Bitcoin is, however, a transparent ledger. It's not a privacy coin like Monero. But some say Bitcoin is used to finance crime and is bad for the environment. Yes, Bitcoin has been used for shady activities, but so has fiat and the dollar. You don't have to use your crypto for crime. If you were to dig deeper and check the US and CIA involvement in drug trafficking, money printing, and the list of false flags like Operation Paperclip and the Gulf of Tonkin, you would see that money, fiat money has been used for crime for much longer than crypto has. The dollar has an Illuminati, Illuminati symbol on it and the fiat system is controlled by bankers who want people like Julian Assange dead. As for the environment, Bitcoin uses far less energy to maintain via mining than the fiat system does. Bitcoin mining uses less energy worldwide than the ATM network alone. In an El Salvador, volcano geothermal energy is being used to power Bitcoin mining. The sky is the limit. Switch. Crypto is not just thin air, it is a distributed decentralized ledger which is shored up by potentially millions of nodes and miners in the ecosystem network. The blockchain ledger is immutable, cannot be tampered with, the Bitcoin has never been hacked. But be careful never to divulge your private keys. Fiat is after all just figures on a computer screen too. With fiat, the government can kick off money printing sprees which causes inflation. The posh word for that is quantitative easing. Bitcoin is deflationary and has risen astronomically in price since 2009. It will only get rarer and rarer. Whilst Bitcoin is awesome, it is transparent and transactions can be traced by governments. It is not private. The privacy coins are coins such as Monero, Pirate Chain, Dero, Wow Nero, and even to a certain extent, extent Litecoin with Wimblewimble. You can research these cryptography protocols such as ring signatures, stealth addresses, ZK snarks and homomorphic encryption. And also check out the Trade Ogre exchange, non-KYC exchange.
In order to buy your first crypto, first choose your exchange. The KYC exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, Kraken and many others are, are there. You just need to join one, set up an account and then you can on-run fiat and into the exchange and from there you can purchase crypto. Secondly, choose the crypto you want to buy. If it's your first time buying crypto, I recommend, I recommend you buy a bit of Bitcoin, perhaps a small amount first, just to become familiar with the process. Then buy your crypto on the exchange. Then choose your wallet. Do not keep your crypto in the exchange, but move it into your own wallet for which you own the private keys. Remember, not your keys, not your crypto. Exchanges can fail. Never divulge your passwords or private keys. Be security conscious, beware of scam emails and the like. And store your private keys somewhere safe, such as in your safe, so that you can recover your wallet if you need to. Check out my blogs and YouTube channel for much more information. Please click uh, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, enjoy the fantastic, fabulous world of crypto. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.